Manchester United then have just beat FC Michelin five goals to one. Absolutely delighted with that, to be honest. I know it was against uh, a lesser opposition, uh, but they've actually taken the lead in this game and we've turned it around and won 5 1. Now, we've seen Riley play at full back and we've seen Rashford have to come in and play up front today uh, because of Martial's uh, unfortunate hamstring injury in the warm up which was really a massive blow to Manchester United because this was a must-win match for Manchester United. We have to be getting through in this, in this competition and uh, looking to win it. Now, we've started off on the front foot from minute one. I mean, we're seeing a lot of youngsters in the team. I mean, the likes of Varela playing. Michael Carrick had to play at centre-half tonight because of Chris Smalling's injury. Romero was in goal, so it was a bit of a patched-up team. And we've still gone out there and scored five goals. So really pleased with that. Never thought I'd say Louis Van Gaal, uh, a Louis Van Gaal team will ever score five goals at Old Trafford. Even against uh, sheer opposition. Now, obviously they've taken the lead. Uh, a smash and grab uh, first goal from uh, Michelin really to be honest. Because we've controlled most of the game. Poor defending from Manchester United. And it was uh, squirmed in past Romero. And after that it didn't look very ever in doubt to me. Although I was worried when we went 1-0 down that we wouldn't recover. Obviously, with how Manchester United have been this season. But when we got that equaliser, uh, Memphis Dubai putting the ball across and it was an own goal. After that, we were completely in control. But I was really disappointed that we didn't take the lead. Uh, just after before half-time, uh, Schneidlin hit the woodwork. And then one matter fluffed his lines with a penalty. Really was disappointed there because I thought... God knows what was going to happen. So we're going into half-time 1-1. We're still on the verge of going out. But second half, we've come out. We've completely dominated the play. They've tied. And Memphis, it's been the Memphis Depay show. Rashford's got himself a couple of goals in that second half. One matters put the ball across for one of them. And he's slid it in. And then he's got another goal uh, in that second half uh, for us to make it 3-1. Uh, Memphis Depay is trying lots and lots of potential in this game. Trying lots of magic, flicks, tricks. In this game, looks a really good prospect for Manchester United still. And I've, I've still back Memphis Depay. I think he will come good. I think next season we will see a lot more of this from Memphis Depay. You know, he's, he's shown re really good. Uh, uh, he showed uh, a lot tonight to me. He really tore their, uh, their defence uh, to shreds. And uh, eventually in the second half, he did get himself a goal. But before that, Ander Herrera got himself a penalty. Uh, it was handballed in the box and he walloped it home. Uh, and it was fantastically finished from uh, Ante Herrera before they got a man sent off. And uh, we got the fifth through Memphis Depay. It was ho I thought it was coming. I was really pleased for him to get a goal because he, uh, he played so well today. Man of the match from him. Obviously Rashford uh, has got to take a lot of credit. He's up there with man of the match too. Probably Memphis probably gets an 8.5 and probably Rashford gets an 8. Or maybe Memphis gets a 9 because... He was fantastic tonight. Uh, I mean, uh, Herrera did miss a good chance in this game in that second half, uh, which was disappointing because it could have been a different game. So we will have to be more clinical in coming games. But hopefully we can see some players coming back from injury now because if we can get some players to come back from injury, then we could uh, see a better Manchester United team. We've seen Pereira come off the bench and the one man we've seen come off the bench, which I'm pleased about, is Marcus Rojo because he's a more experienced player. And uh, hopefully he can give more experience to that back line where we've really been ropey at times. And we can't afford to, to go 1-0 down if we get th when we get through to the next round uh, in the draw tomorrow. We can't afford to go 1-0 down at home to Borussia Dortmund, at home to Tottenham, one of these teams. Because we will get punished and we'll be on the verge of going out. Because we have just beat one of the poorest teams uh, that were left in the competition. But still fantastic to for Rashford to get a couple of goals, even though it was uh, against lesser opposition. It was the uh, Europa League knockout stage, so you can't argue with that. He's only 18 years of age, and he's probably going to have to play against Arsenal on Sunday. So hopefully that will give him the most upwards of confidence going into that game. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that game. Can this um, five-goal haul spur us on uh, to bigger and better things? I mean, we could have won it a lot easier. Could have put this game to sleep in the first leg even. But we didn't like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.